Yo, this is man. The age that we live in right now. This is this is absolutely wild. Um, the PJ Washington and Brittany Renner saga continues. Lord have mercy. Now I'm not gonna just harp and bash Brittany because I don't know her. I'm not here to judge her. I'm here just to talk about what happens in real life in these situations. But let me just read what's going on real quick. Uh, Brittany, okay, so allegedly, y'all know what's going on. You know, uh, allegedly, you know, Brittany Weiner, Renner, uh, broke up with ex-husband, ex-fiance, right after she was pregnant, broke up the relationship, Right, right after she gave birth and now taking him to court, taking him to court, put him on child support, trying to get the money, you know, trying to come up. Now, um, let's just read this. Brittany's mom, brother, call out PJ Washington after claims of keeping child from him. So apparently PJ has been going to social media. And this is crazy that the direction like life is going in like everything in social media social media social media like the things that these people are talking don't need to be like we don't need to know about this you know what i'm saying the public doesn't need to know about this or maybe they are doing this for documentation reasons you know what i'm saying maybe this is another part of the whole finesse you know what i mean like you never know, man. But P PJ Washington has literally gotten himself into a mess with the situation. Um, and, and, and you know what's even sad, even worse? That we know 80% of the, of the people that know PJ Washington is for the drama, not for what he's actually doing on the court. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I never knew about him until this whole thing happened and I'm sure y'all didn't know about him until this whole situation happened how he's getting finessed and everything but he put himself in this uh, predicament um, perhaps the one of the biggest stories the NBA has failed uh, the relationship between Brittany Renners and PJ Washington it only got bigger when Washington took to social media to claim that she was keeping him away from his child don't understand why I can't see my son. He wrote on IG. This is his IG. So let's see what he's saying on IG. Um, I'm guessing that's his son. Uh, God is undefeated. Just want to see my son, August 13th. Can't wait to see my son. Can't wait to see my son. Stand on principle. You got some nerve. Just want to see my son. I love my son more than anything. Stop the cap. Man, what? Look, bro. Honestly, man. You, you don't need to be telling us nothing. Honestly. This is not a good look for you. I mean, maybe you are strategically doing this just for court documentation. You know what I mean? Just, just to let the court know, hey, I'm trying to be a good father. It's not me. It's her. So I can understand if you're doing this to, you know, um, get custody of your child. Because at the end of the day, if you want custody of your child, I mean, hey, you got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? So I completely un understand about that. But now it seems like Brittany Renner's mom and brother, they on social media. Um, clapping back. Yeah, at this point, it's hard to believe this PJ story actually happened. It's unbelievable. I miss my son. Don't understand why I can't see my son. That's a picture of him. Daddy misses you. They won't take me away from you. Sad, man. Um... Over the weekend, Wiener got some Wiener got some backup from her brother, telling Washington, "Stop crying, wolf." 
her mother would eventually repost the same thing on her story as well. Nobody mom should be reposting nothing. Oh my god. This is this is crazy how the social media is literally dictating people's lives. Nobody mother should be doing anything on social media. What? But hey, it's that's what we live in. <clears throat> Posted. Who is crying wolf? Okay, so this is Britney's brother. Who is crying wolf? Unborn first. Okay, the boy who cried wolf. Um, previously responded with two thousand dollars. Say quit line. All right, but at the at the end of the day, I I really don't want to talk about this. I just want to talk about there are women that that do this, right? There are women out there that will use their children as a tool, as a trading bait, as a possession instead of a child that they should love and and care for and protect and honor and raise to be the best person that they can possibly be. They use their children as a come up. A meal ticket, insurance, you know, a way to live a better life. They finesse men that are in the NBA, in the league, or make a lot of money, and they use that against them. But it's sad that, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm not just talking about Britney in general. Like I said, I'm not here to talk about Britney, so to say. I'm just talking about just situations like this that, that, that happens, like, Women will, I wouldn't say kidnap, but hold their kid hostage just because they're not in a relationship with the baby father, just because the situation didn't work out. So now, since you're not being with me, you're not going to see your child. That should never be the case. I hate women that act like that. I hate this has nothing to do with you. What people and I don't I don't even have any any children. So this is advice coming from a man that don't even have any children. But once you create life, your life doesn't matter. Like I know that. And I don't have any child. And I'm not gonna say your life doesn't matter, but your life becomes second. Because your your child life should be above yours. You should want to provide and to shelter and to protect your child as best as you can. So you want that child to live the best life it can. So every child needs a parent a two parent household. Well, not necessarily two parent household, but every parent, every child needs a mother and a father. Okay. I don't care what y'all say. Every child deserves a mother and a father. Even if they're not together, allow that man to be a father. Don't take his son away from you. Don't, don't take his daughter away from him just because you are mad at him, because that's going to come back and it's going to haunt you. And it's, it's going to come back and bite you in the ass in the long run. Trust me, in the long run, it will definitely bite you in the ass. So if you're in a relationship with a man and the relationship ends and y'all have a child together, let that man be a father. It's sad that it's, it's, it's evil women out there, bro. It's, it's evil women will literally use their child as tug of war they use their child as an object as a meal ticket as insurance that's why you got to be careful man you got to be careful when you're dealing with these with these type of women they pretty in the outside but they're ugly in the inside man and it's it's just sad man you know it's really sad because not only are you going to affect your child's life you're affecting your life, because it's going to bite you in the ass. Trust me, karma is going to get you one way or another. 
Like there's no it's it's there's no good that's gonna come out of this, man. So I hope this is not true. I hope Brittany allows PJ to be the best father that he can possibly be. Like I said, I don't I'm not necessarily just speaking on this situation because we don't know the truth. We just hear people tweeting and hear people, you know, you know, we don't know. You know, this could be a finesse. Brittany could be finessing. Maybe PJ is just saying this so he can, you know have the public image like he's trying to do something uh, you, you know like I, i'm not here just to talk about this situation i'm just talking about in general man women don't be evil don't be evil parents let your child see your son don't punish your son because you didn't because you and your baby daddy didn't work out it just didn't work out so don't tarnish and hurt your 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 kids' life just because you, you want to be selfish and you want the man that you can't have. It's over, baby. Just just let it be. You know, but it's sad, bro. It's sad. But anyway, I just want to cover this and I just want to, you know, give my two cents. Not necessarily on them two, just you know. What stuff actually happens, you know, between two parties that don't get along. And normally it's the mother that keeps the child away from their, their kid because they didn't work out, you know. But all in all, God bless everybody. I hope they make it through. And I hope everybody makes it through, man. Let your, let your child have a father in their life, especially if the father wants to be there. At the end of the day, okay, let your child have a father in their life, especially if the father wants to be there. That's it. It's your boy. I'm out.